This is the branch window. Let's go through its features. When you open the window, it defaults to the view branch panel. This panel contains accumulated information about the branch. There are two important functions in this panel as well. At the top is the number of dealerships assigned to this branch. Dealerships are third-party companies that sell your vehicles to consumers. They increase based on your dealership resource slider settings. However, you can manually subsidize new dealerships for this location by clicking the plus button. The more dealerships you have, the more vehicles you'll sell. See the wealth distribution and buyer rating table for more information. At the bottom of this panel is the Assign Mark Ownership drop-down. You can change which mark owns this branch. Doing this will change the value of the mark, and if you were to spin, or sell off the mark, you can include the branches that the mark owns with the transaction. Next is the Redesign panel. The redesign system allows you to build a new branch to replace the existing one. The same concepts as building a branch apply. The top slider is dealership resources. This slider increases the number of dealerships that sign up with your branch over time. The slider below it increases sales resources, which will cause higher vehicle buyer ratings and more vehicle sales against the competition. Both sliders increase the quality and costs of the branch. You can find these ratings here. Next is Recondition Branch. As time progresses, your factories and branches wear down. If you allow them to wear too much, it will hamper your production and sales. Reconditioning branches is much cheaper than factories, and you can do it in this panel. This action will reset the branch to 100% potential. The game will warn you with a pop-up when your factories and branches wear too much. There is also an auto-recondition system in the auto commands. Next is the close branch panel. This panel allows you to close your branch. Taking this action will require you to rebuild the branch if you want to make it operational again. You will also lose all your signed dealerships. If you wish to idle the branch, use the idle branch's auto commands. If you're looking to upgrade the branch, use the redesign panel previously mentioned in this tutorial. Next is the shipping panel. If you're not using auto production, then you will have to manage the shipping distance of your vehicles manually. You do this via the branches instead of factories because of player demand early in the game's development. If you have a lot of vehicles for sale at a branch, you may not want to adjust shipping distances individually. This panel allows you to change the shipping distance of all vehicles sold at the branch at the same time. To do that, click the Adjust Distance button. Set the distance. If you want any new vehicles sold at this branch to use this shipping distance, you need to check the Vehicle Inherit Branch Shipping Distance checkbox before hitting Apply. And then click Apply. The inheritance will also override any shipping distance changes applied to models from other branches using the Apply to All button. Finally, Distribution opens the Distribution window. You cover this window in several other video tutorials, but we'll give you a brief rundown. Here is a list of your vehicle models. If the sales price is $0, then the vehicle is not for sale at this location. Above the list are filters to reduce the vehicles in the list. You can filter by vehicle type, mark, and base model name. You can also merge trims into one listing. Changes made to this listing will apply to all trims of that base model based on the percentage difference from material costs. For example, if you set the sales price 20% higher than the base material costs, 
then all the trims will have sales prices 20% higher than their material costs. This is a page flipper. If you have too many designs, they will extend to multiple pages. Upon selecting a model, this side of the screen will populate with data. Most of it is self-explanatory or explained in other tutorials. We explain these in the shipping video tutorials. And we explain these in the total unit costs tutorials. The help buttons also provide more details. At the bottom is a listing of the selected vehicles competition. The list is in order of units sold last month. And in the middle is your interaction with the branch. You assign the price of the vehicle in this text box. You can view the wealth distribution and buyer rating with this button. See the video tutorial for information about this. Apply, applies changes only to this branch. And apply to all applies the changes to all branches. Remove will set the sales price to $0, thus removing the vehicle from sale at this branch. One way to remove a vehicle from all branches is to hit remove and then apply to all. View vehicle will pull up the vehicle information window. And shipping distance opens the shipping radius assignment screen. Be sure to click apply or apply to all to save your adjustments. The mega menu contains most features of the distribution window under the branch panel. If you wanted to manage multiple branches at the same time, you should use the districting system. Click districts in the upper left. Select your district from the drop downs. And then hit branches. These windows will work the same way as individual branches. However, they apply the changes to all cities in the district. This system can save you a lot of time. 